Hi, I'm Iris Fritz. I'm with Dunwoody College of Technology. I'm a math instructor there. And I'm talking to you today regarding radian measure versus degree measure and how to do your unit conversions. And so as you learned in the last video that we looked at, I gave you reasoning as to why we do this. There are times when we want to think in degree measure, which is focused on angular change within the circle. And then there are other times when we want to say the same thing, but look more strictly at another way of saying it in radian measure. But either way, they will communicate to you the same thing. It's kind of like me saying one foot equals 12 inches. One foot is the same size as 12 inches, it's just cut up differently. So we're going to be doing unit conversions that reflect some of that thinking. Now, one thing I want you to know is measuring in radian measure is indeed measuring with radius. Except now we don't always do, if you will, all of the mathematics. We're kind of at a higher level of our thinking right now. And for radian measure, and let's just go back to what we know, walking around the circle is indeed 2 times pi times r, or 2 pi r. That is circumference. And another way to look at circumference is in degrees. So the degrees within a circle, and let me just draw my circle again. The degrees within a circle, walking around the outer edge and measuring is the 2 pi r. Coming from the inside and looking out using the radius, going around and looking at angular measure is indeed 360 degrees. So I have two different ways to say the same thing. And when we work with transferring from radian measure, measuring with a radius, to degree measure, we actually look at half of the circumference, and we use that as our unit conversion factor. So half of 2 pi r is just simply pi r right here. This is the halfway mark. Okay, so right here, if I've traveled around the circle, I have traveled pi r in length. And then, as far as my degrees go, half of 360 is simply 180 degrees. And I'm assuming that we know how to reduce a fraction. As long as we know what equals what, we are in an excellent p uh, position to start to develop what's called a unit conversion factor. And all that simply means is we're going to create a form of one to help us get work done. So I'm going to go back here to the board and I want to talk to you about the concept that you need, the simple thinking that you need to comfortably take something like this on. If I'm looking at pi r here, now we're going to start to talk strictly about radian measure. So instead of just writing R, you're going to see this little bit of an abbreviated word for radius, rad. And so pi times radius, or pi rad, is indeed equal to 180 degrees. They mean the same, but in formal radian measure, we have a little more formal ways, if you will, a more formal way of writing the unit of measure, and that is as pi rad. We do not look at this as 3. Point, well, it is 3.14, absolutely approximately equal to 3.14. But you will see me keep this as a unit of measure, just as feet is a unit of measure, just as inches is a unit of measure, just as centimeters are units of measure, pi rad is a unit of measure. Same thing with degrees. Degrees right here, this little bubble here, you know means degrees. It takes the place of words. So this right here is our way of saying degrees. Okay, good. I think we got that down. Now, I want, this is the important concept to get any time you're doing any kind of unit conversion, whether it be this kind of unit conversion or whether it be uh, centimeters to miles, inches to feet, centimeters to feet, whatever the unit conversion is. There's some simple notation um, that you want to put in place. In fact, there's some simple thinking that you want to put in place, which will always help you when you play this game. So let's do it. Now, I'm going to erase what we know. We'll come back to that in a second, but let's think. Isn't it true that any number, anything, if you will, anything, no matter how the number looks, anything 
times the number 1 is just simply equal to itself, equals itself. I'm writing this out in words, okay? So for example, anything, I can take a number and I can multiply it by 1 and I still have that number. Now I know you're probably going, okay, well I get that. Good, that's going to help you think. And that also goes for any number times a form of 1. Any number times a form of 1 should still equal that number. And it does. And in math, we use forms of 1 and multiplying something by a form of 1 to get a lot of work done. It allows us to change how something looks but not what it means with hopes of helping us communicate better. When you are taking radian measure, which I'm going to look at with you shortly, and converting it into degree measure, all you're doing is changing the form of something, but not what it means. You're literally changing how it looks, but not what it means. It's just another way to say the same thing. So let's play the game. You have to know something first before we can ever get into the actual change in degrees to degrees. So let me write down what we need to think about. We know that pi radian means exactly the same thing as 180 degrees. We know that. And we can write a form of 1 that's going to help us get some work done. In mathematics, they call these forms of one unit conversion factors. But what I'm going to do is, isn't it true that anything divided by itself is just another way to write the number one? So even if it looks odd, as long as whatever it is is referencing the exact same thing, notice, this means exactly the same thing as this. So isn't it true that something divided by itself is just another way to write the number 1? And what I'm doing right now is developing a very important thinking piece when you're playing a lot of different kinds of mathematics. In this case, it's going to help me do unit conversion. Another way to write a form of 1 is 180 degrees divided by a form of itself is just another way to write the number 1. So right now what I did is I wrote two different ways to look at the number 1 and I'm going to use this as a power tool shortly. So let's go over here and do some conversions. It's time. It says change to degrees. I have in place what's called radian measure. How do I know it? Well, a couple of things that hint that you have radian measure is you're going to see the word rad, which means I'm playing with radian measure. And you'll also see pi in the mix. And in this case, notice I have a fractional piece of information. And what I want to do is I want to rewrite. So first thing you want to do first, OK? If they give you something like this, where you need to, if you will, rotate it into degree measure, do yourself a favor and write it in its fractional form. Remember, radian is as if it's over 1. There is multiplication implied here, and so I can write it this way. Change in the form, but not the meaning, if you will. And now I look at this and I say, boy, I want to write this as degrees, not radian measure. So I'm going to use what I know and I'm going to develop a form of 1. Lots of talk about the number 1. Isn't it true that any number multiplied by 1 still is that number? And any number multiplied by a unique form of 1 will help me, in this case, get rid of the pi rad and bring degree measure into play.
So if you want to cancel this out, when I set up my form of 1, I'm going to have to use a form of 1 where pi radian is in the denominator because I want to get rid of it. This is the radian measure that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to take this form of 1, this unique way to write the number 1, and I'm going to write it over here. And look what it does for me. Now don't forget, it looks weird, but when all is said and done, this is another way to write the number 1. And what does it do for us? Watch. The pi radian measure is out of there. Wasn't that the goal? I want to get rid of radian measure and change it to degrees. And what remains is this. Up in the numerator, I have 180 degrees over 9. Do the math. And 9 goes into 180 how many times? 9 times what gives you 180? Isn't that 20? And it is in degrees. And your answer is 20 degrees. And I didn't even use a calculator for that. You can do that without a calculator. That's not any rocket science yet. 